Hi there, this is Dr. Rahul Desai, and I'm going to be doing another quick uh, before and after of stem cell therapy. This was a patient. Uh, this is an MRI from September of 2018. A uh, patient came to us with severe incapacitating low back pain, and you can, you can see here that there is a collapsed disc at the L5. This is L5 vertebrae S1. The disc, you know, normally we'd like it to look like this one. This is L3-4. Uh, this is L4-5, which is, which is darker, so it's losing uh, fluid. It's losing its cushioning ability. Uh, it's a little bit uh, bulging here, and there's a small tear in the back side of the disc. This is uh, L5-S1, which is, you know, part, parts of it are completely collapsed. The bones are kissing each other here, and they're actually causing inflammation. This is a fluid-sensitive sequence, so fluid is bright. That's the CSF. The fluid that they take out during spinal tap. This is one of the discs that are degenerating, the little tear in the back of the disc. And you can see here that this is, that's angriness, right? The disc is not doing its job anymore. And there's a ton of inflammation in the bones. The disc is herniated both anteriorly and posteriorly. And the patient uh, had basically incapacitating pain. They were going to do a fusion at this level on a disc replacement. At this level, uh, she came to see us. We did uh, a stem cell therapy for her. And uh, it was an interesting case, at six weeks, came back, pain was actually worse. At uh, three months, a patient returned 10% benefit. And at that time, we weren't sure. We thought we might have, uh, the therapy might have failed. And uh, we then uh, had talked about getting her to a surgeon and discussing potentially re-evaluating uh, that need. She really wanted to stay away from the replacement and the fusion. Uh, we then uh, followed up with her about a year later and thinking that she might have had the fusion and the surgery and uh, her response was pretty amazing. She had had complete resolution of uh, her low back pain and symptoms and was uh, back to full functionality. It just took a little bit longer than expected. We did a follow-up um, MRI. And some of the things I'd like to show you also during these sessions is kind of the precision in which the uh, procedure and the amount of work it takes. So this is, these are the needles into the um, iliac crest where you get the bone marrow. Not on here is the procedure of the liposuction. We obtained uh, the platelets. So her therapy included an epidural, which shows this needle in the epidural space. Everything's image guided. These are the facet joints at the level above. That's L45, so precisely placed. This is contrast outlining the joint. Contrast outlining the joint, and then we follow that with stem cells uh, into the other, the uh, right side or left side and then uh, these are interspinous ligaments so helping stabilize iliolumbar ligaments uh, helping stabilize the spine and then I finally into the disc itself uh, you can see here this is a double needle technique so two needles one to get into the skin and get close and then a smaller uh, sterile needle into the joint you can see the actual this contrast here is filling the small annular tear that white area that we saw in that four or five disc which is uh, pretty darn cool that we see those things, and that's the uh, filling of the 5-1 disc. And uh, a year later, MRI comes back, and uh, here we see this uh, area. Still see the disc bulging. Really things haven't changed too much. Annular, t annular tear is still uh, visualized there. The big difference in her scan was the amount of uh, bone marrow edema which is basically gone. This has been replaced by uh, fibro fatty uh, changes. So this is a more mature uh, looking uh, disc injury. And so it's gone into modic uh, type two changes and there's no longer pain or, or dysfunction. Um, obviously with that level of uh, disc injury, we weren't expecting to have a disc that completely heals, but we wanted to allow this tissue to go into a reparative phase able to stimulate that and the patient's doing uh, extremely well and it's nice to see on the follow-up what exactly uh, why she's having that manifestation of uh, pain relief and so kind of proofs in the pudding when you start to look at these things and, and see what changes are there so another very cool case uh, and some excellent follow-up